going to try to do this fast. Right? I'm looking in the mirror right here. So anyway, how is everyone? What's new in the world of YouTube? So I told you guys about my husband's birthday, me being on vacay. Um, my dog's good. I mean, he's getting older, which is like terrifying to me. Um, I don't know if I ever talked about, oh, this is the Bobby Brown thing I got in that 500 point perk thing. It's just like a base, um, just for your eyeshadow to go like a little bit more clingy to it, especially since I'm using shadows I haven't used in a while. I'm going to do like, just like a MAC palette, what I showed you on my favorites. I want to do a get ready with me with the Miss Fabulous because I want to recreate maybe some of those looks. I don't I can't I don't have the Urban Decay um Naked Heat to distinguish, you know, one from the next, like to, to do a comparison, but at the same point, um I want to on my own time like look at um basically some looks and then try to recreate them using that palette because I feel like you probably can. Um, so I do need like a little time to like research some of the looks before I even attempt something like that because I'm not a makeup artist or anything by any means. You can tell just by the way I apply makeup like you know it is what it is. But I enjoy it and um, I take my time like when I apply shadow uh, I'm, I'm more on the I'd rather be uh, have a light hand than a heavy hand because I'd rather not look crazy and I don't know if anyone does this but me I've never seen anyone on YouTube do this but when I apply makeup including my face eyes everything most people are like setting spray don't go anywhere I do the opposite I always leave um I might use a setting spray but I always leave Dunkin Donuts Taco Bell you know those brown napkins Starbucks wherever I come from Wherever I go to, I grab some, leave it in my, um, my, you know, glove box. When I'm in the sun and like the real light, sometimes your makeup looks like a clown. It looks dark or maybe put too much blush on or whatever. So what I do, or even if I'm just oily, I like will pat, you know, my areas of like grease, like my T-zone with one of those brown napkins. I'm telling you they're better than like the oil slick things that they sell by Clean and Clear because first of all, they're free. <laughs> and second of all, they work just as good. So needless to say, I will kind of pat my face and remove some makeup just because I would rather not look crazy. And I just feel like most girls, like, girls, you need to do that. Like, I'm going to just blend out this brown with this orange right here. I don't know the names of these shadows. They're super old, but... Um, you know, it's funny because I put this quad together years ago and uh, like just recently they're like doing the blend out with the oranges like as transition colors and whatnot. I've been doing that. I've had this quad since like 1999, 2009. So I must be innovative. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to put some of this olive because I want olive to be the star of the show. So I'm going to put some like on the lid. I want to keep the inner with the like whitish color, the champagne-ish kind of, not really champagne, but more like a, a flesh tone with shimmer, I want to say. I don't know the name of any of these shadows. They're probably on the bottom if they're MAC, but um, every time I try to take one out of these quads, I just feel like I ruin them and I don't want to do that. So it's very easy to do a look with these four. I mean, right away, it's already coming together. I mean, you know, it looks fine as it is. Like, yeah, I like to blend, but like when you have a light hand and you have such good quality shadows like MAC, like you don't need to like blend to the heavens, you know? Um, I want to use this Bobby. I bought this a while ago, this Bobby Brown gel liner, and it's in brown. What is it called? Espresso ink. I don't like black on my eyes and I, I want to be like everyone else and I keep buying black eyeliners. I have the Stila one. I have black track, you know, fluid from MAC and honestly, like, I always go back to the brown. Um, I usually use pencils because it's quick and easy, but the gel just looks flawless 
And I'm not perfect with eyeliner, so what I do is I do like, you know, the tapping motion. Um, you know, and I just connect the dots. Like, that's what I do. I don't, you know, it is what it is. Not everyone is like a makeup artist, so. But I think that when you take your time and you go with a light hand, you wind up having a nice look. So, anyway, that's the story. If you're a newbie to makeup, though, I suggest that you um definitely start with pencils. Or take your time, like, don't plan on going out of the house right away if you're, like, experimenting with, like, wings or gels. Because if you make a mistake, you don't want to be like, oh, crap, like, I need to leave and my makeup looks cray. You always want to look put together. Less is more, especially if you don't know what you're doing. For me, because I have hooded eyes and because I'm in my 40s, I don't do wings. Wings were never big when I was younger. Um... I kind of wish it was because then I didn't have, like, my eyes weren't as hooded and I could probably get away with a wing. Now I can't because my eyelids have fallen a little bit over age. But um, I kind of wish I, that trend came out, you know, when I was younger because I would probably mastered it after doing it so often. And it would have looked better on me, but now wings look ridiculous and it just doesn't, it's like my, it's like the wing is there. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't look right, so... Anyway, so that's just something I never mastered because I never had to. Now that I feel like my eyes are kind of done, I'm just going to take like a dish towel. I take like dish towels. If anybody watches like Melissa, you know, from the South, Melissa, she uses dish towels too. Like this is like one from Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm going to use this just because it's not humid today. It's nice in New York. And I'm saving all like my nice foundations for fall. Let me know if you save things for fall, because fall is your favorite, like, season of all time. Like, who else does that? Maybe I should use a beauty blender and be all YouTube-ish if I could find it. See, I can't even find it, so I might as well just use my fingers. Maybe I'll use a brush. I don't know. Beauty blenders, I feel like, take so long. Um, I don't know. I mean... I feel like people use beauty blenders because everyone else use, uses beauty blenders. I don't necessarily know. I feel like it takes longer than like using, I'm looking for a brush too and they're all like being washed. Like, I just feel like beauty blend. I don't know. I'm not on the beauty, I have two of them already, but I'm still not on the beauty blender craze. I'm just not. Maybe just because I don't have as much time to apply makeup as other people because I need to get out the door and I don't. I actually have a job I have to go to. Um, but if you're like a real person in real life that has a job, tell me if you use a, a beauty blender. Like, you can get out the door using a beauty blender because I feel like the, the area of your face you can like get to, like, just isn't, I don't know, it's like too small. Like, I use my, I'm using two fingers at once just because I'm so used to rushing. Maybe because I'm from New York and we like rush around on the regular. That's probably why, but um, I definitely need concealer. I always have bags lately. Must just be because I don't get enough sleep. But I did take a nap yesterday, so I don't know. Um, I'm using the Maybelline. I really like this one. It's in sand. It's uh, I hate to say it, I like it better than my Nars one. Is that like accepted? Is that accepted on the internet? I don't know. Oh, boo-hoo. Nars isn't going to send me, um, what do you call it now? PR packages. <laughs> That's like a joke. Um, does anybody get PR packages from Nars? I never see them sending anything to anyone. I only see, like, Too Faced and, like, Ofra. Makeup forever sometimes. Mac is stingy, too, with their PR packages. I noticed, but good for them. Why should they send it to every person that puts makeup on on the internet? Like, give me a break. Like, their products are, like, worthy of being savored. You know what I mean? Like, stand your ground, Mac. So, anyway, that's the story. I don't use false lashes because I only use them if, like, I have a wedding or an event to go to. I don't walk around town with lashes on because I'm actually... A real person that holds down a job. I never in my 
I've I've been working since I'm 13 years old. I've been holding down jobs in New York. Not like bum F like middle America, like New York. And I've worked in nice areas of New York, expensive areas, and I never see people walking around with lashes. If I go to the really, really expensive like department stores, sometimes I see like the housewives walking around with like lashes during the day with their kids. And yeah, they look like bomb.com, but like that's not real life. But like anyone else like doesn't walk around with lashes. You just don't. And if you do, if I went into work with lashes, the girls would be like, Are you on drugs? Like, like what is the story? Like, I'm sure of it. I think I'm going to do just a light powder. I'm just keeping it real because that's what I do. Like, this is like the matching powder. And I know I've shown this in a video before because I do like it. Um, and it's affordable. Like, you can go to the store and actually afford to buy, you know, the foundation or the BB cream with the matching powder just because it's like reasonably priced, good quality, like, I'm not a huge fan of CoverGirl, but I do really like that. I don't really like the mascaras too much. I don't like their eyeshadows, but um, I like their lipsticks and I like their face products so far. That was an e.l.f. brush I just used. So this is like my look, basically. I'm going to bronze up the face. I'm going to use this little like Bobbi Brown bronzer that I got. I feel like my lip balm has worn off and I really want to put more on, but like... This is like running really, really like late this video because it takes me forever to get ready. Um, this is like a MAC like blush brush, but I'm just going to try to do a little bit of like, you know, I know I should start and work my way back, but I'm just going to bronze up the face a little bit. Make it just look a little bit more. Like, try to get my forehead to look a little bit smaller and my cheeks a little thinner. Let's see if that makes a difference. You know, I don't like to be too, too made up. Um, but I'm going to use this lipstick that I talked about because I love it. Is it like a faux pas to put lipstick on when you're not done with your look? It's supposed to be like the finishing touch. I don't really care. I make my own rules. I'm too no collar for YouTube. Comment down below if you know what no collar means. Anybody watch the bogger out there? I'm like doing like a double duty with the mascara. This is the Bobbi Brown one that I got in that kit. I'm just going over the Maybelline one that I really care for. I like that as a base, but I will layer up. One more thing I want to do is the brows with the Gimme Brow product that I was raving about and put some blush on just because I really like this product. Keeps it in place. See, I took too much product out of it. It takes them off the brush. I just think that this really works well. This is a good product benefit. Like, I spent... 20 something dollars on you. Look at the difference. Holy smoke Rooney. This is like good quality. Now this is my bad eyebrows. So look out girls. You're bad. You're a bad eyebrow. I hate you. You're not nice. You're mean. You're the black sheep of the family. You're the Cinderella of brows. You really are. I, I think it's just because I'm using it in a weird way. I need to like go in like that. Ugh. Brow not behaving. The problem is it's just growing funky. I need to go get them. What do you call it? I need to go get them. Um taken care of like oh gosh ugh anyway I did the best I could 
Moving on. <laughs> Let's um, do some highlight. I look super pale, but like I don't have one of those like expensive cameras and like light boxes and all that crap that YouTubers use. Like I like YouTube, but like I ain't going there. Like I have a bathroom that needs to be fixed. And my husband needs a dump truck for his business. And like, you know, like I need to save my dog. I was saying before about my dog. My dog is a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. He has like a heart condition, so his medications are very expensive. And um, I know that's not the proper brush, but like I still like the highlight that it's giving. Um, and his medication costs money, and Mama has to go every month and pay for his meds and everything and you know it gets costly but like he's my baby and like I would do anything for him so um you know that's the story so if he ever gets better or if he ever passes which god forbid I want him to live forever like it's a burden financially but like I would like go out there and prostitute myself for my dog if I had to like it's just like your child so like you know what I'm saying Anyway, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you like it. I know my husband will. It's wearable to be out in public on a random Thursday. So um, I do need blush, but um, I am darker in real life when I'm looking in the camera. So thank you, YouTube, for sticking around. And I hope you like this look. I like to do wearable makeup, and I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day.